Schoology allows you to create custom grading scales within your Schoology courses. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're within your Schoology course and you're going to come over here to Grade Setup. So you click on Grade Setup and then over here on the top right, you're going to click on Add and you're going to choose Scale. So now we need to give our scale a name. So I'm going to name it Pass Fail. And now I need to assign the two scales. So the very first one is going to be pass. So I'm going to put a P in the letter grade for pass. And then you need to set your range. So I'm going to do 70 to 100. Then we're going to add a level and we're going to set up our scale for failing. So I'm going to put an F for fail. And I'm going to say this is anywhere from zero to 70. Now the next thing you need to do is set up your letter conversion. So if they receive a passing grade, I want them to get 100% of the grade. And if they receive a fail, I want them to receive 69%. When you enter this into Schoology, if you want them to only see the P or the F and not an actual 100 or a 69, then you'll come up here and you can check only show letter grade however you want it. I'm gonna leave it unchecked just because I want them to see either a 100 or a 69. So you'll click on Save Settings. Uh, now your grading scale has been created. And now, in order to copy it to other courses, it's so simple. You come up here to the top right and you click on Copy Settings and you can choose to copy categories, grading scales, or rubrics into other courses. For this, I only want it to copy the grading scales. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose all of my other classes. It doesn't necessarily matter um, if they're the same content really or not because you're only copying a grading scale. And I'm going to click on copy. So now to add that into your gradebook for students to see, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to click on gradebook. And if you already have assignments in your Schoology course, you're going to see a lot of assignments listed up here. Uh, but to add a new grading column, I don't necessarily want it to show as an assignment on the page. I just want it to show within Gradebook. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to say add grade column. So for this one, I want students to know what they made on the week of April 13th through the 17th. You're going to choose a category. I've already created a category for this. If you don't have one, all you have to do is create new grading category. You can name it whatever you want. So I've named it Pass Fail. And now you're going to change the scale and make sure you select that Pass Fail scale that you just created. And now I'm going to click on Create. So now in here you can come in and you can type in a P or you can type a Fail for each of the students and it will show up in their respective grade book. You'll notice when I come back over here to materials, even though I created that column in the grade book, that assignment doesn't necessarily show on the main page. It's only gonna show on the page when your students go to grade book and they look to see what their grade book rating is. You do not have to sync this with your grade book into Skyward. So if you only want this pass fail rating to show within Schoology to students, but you don't want to send it to the Skyward Gradebook, that's perfectly fine. Um, and in this instance, that's what we want. We don't want this grade to be sent into Skyward. So in that case, even if you have your Skyward already set up to sync, that's not a big deal. You're just not gonna go into Skyward and you won't sync this grade. You'll just leave it there. As long as you do that, the grade will not be sent into Skyward it will only remain here within the Schoology Gradebook for students to be able to keep up with their weekly activity.